a darker vibe. I don't know, this just doesn't feel like a Throne of Glass book to me though. What is up everyone? My name is Andrea. If you don't know me, you should subscribe. But today, um, first of all, actually, long time no see. Sorry it's been a while. Last week I was in the middle of the ocean all week um, on a cruise. I did vlog. I did read a lot of books. That is coming in the future. But today I'm going to be reacting slash analyzing the new Throne of Glass series covers that we have coming out. Throne of Glass is a series by Sarah J Mass. I absolutely love the series. It's so good. Like you should read it if you have not read it. You've been living under a rock. But we're getting um, new hardcover and paperback covers. So I'm just going to dive in and talk about them a little bit so we can just chat. <laughs> So we're getting eight new covers for all eight books, which is amazing. Um, the first ones I'm going to look at are the hardcover ones. They're the more colorful ones. And the first one I see is the Assassin's Blade. Um, I love this one. It's very beautiful. I love the turquoise vibes. I love the like color blocking of all of these. Like they somehow go together and are cohesive, even though there's so many different colors. Um, but Assassin's Blade has the stag. I feel like that's a great cover slash illustration decision because it is just a bind up of novellas. They couldn't just go into one particular book details without, you know, not being fair to the other novellas. So, um, um, I really like it. Love the stag. Then we get the Throne of Glass cover. I love the blue. Like, I feel like it's going to be such a bright book. Like, these books are going to pop on the shelves. I just, I mean, I haven't seen spines, but I'm guessing. I like the Throne of Glass cover. Like, it really feels like Selena in Endovir in the camps. So, I feel like that's cool, um, especially because that's what the whole first book is about. Um, yeah, I don't know. I vibe with it. I like it. I like the colors. Um, I don't really know what's going on here. Like, it looks like she's coming out of some tunnel of sorts and there's a crack in it. Um, I do think that it is a lot of symbolism for her coming out of the camps, her being um, going into the competition to be the king's champion. I feel like that is tying in a lot. Then we have Crown of Midnight. This cover is so gorgeous. This river thing, I love it. Again, symbolism. Um, I love the pink. It definitely seems like it is a darling, like this, the city, the kingdom, and or you know, even lands beyond a darling. But she's definitely standing like on the castle, which is cool. And she's, you know, in her cape, her regalia of the king's champion not spoilers that she's the king's champion but i mean anyway so yeah i love that one i love the colors i love the river it's just so pretty air of fire oh so good so good i love the trees i love that this is just a nod to rowan um so we have of course the hawk which is rowan in his fey form and then if you can look down at the river and the reflection it's actually a wyvern so that's tying in a braxos and i really like that because air fire is definitely where we see the introduction of rowan and manon and i feel like that's really cool it's just the whole force thing it also seems a lot like we um in the books we see selena traveling to another place and that seems to be like this place so and especially like going on the water on the boats yeah my camera died <laughs> So, which is my fault, I didn't charge it for a week. I don't remember the last thing I said, so air fire, love it. <laughs> Let's go on to Queen of Shadows. Queen of Shadows is a really cool cover, like I really love it. It has this very creepy and dark vibe. For Queen of Shadows, the original paperback and hardcover um, colors are like red. It has that red and black color, so I think that goes, I think that's kind of cool. And it just, it feels like a Queen of Shadows book. It gives me the vibes that we already know from Queen of Shadows, so I think that's really cool. It's just so dark and gloomy. I don't know. It's pretty, though. Empire of Storms is my favorite book out of the entire series, and I think this cover is really pretty. The fact that they put the waves and, like, obviously a storm on the cover is very symbolic of both the title and what happens in the book and the ending where it takes place and all that stuff, um, and the little boat as well on there gonna start crying i need to not analyze that too much but i really love that one as well i don't know who the illustrator is but they did a good job i think these are really pretty um so moving on to tower of dawn <laughs> i like this one i get it um we have kale in this other place i'm trying to not say spoilers if you can't tell um i like that it's a tower like it says tower of dawn let's throw a tower on the cover i mean it makes sense right and i would like to imagine that the little horse 
down at the bottom is probably KL going um, to this place. So yeah, I don't know. I think this is a really cool one. Obviously that kind of is ending. It's called the Healing Tower. Could be wrong. It's been a while since I read Tower of Dawn, but I don't know. I like it. I like the colors. I think it's cool. And then we have Kingdom of Ash and this book. Oh my god, just a lot. But this cover is really pretty. I feel like it's definitely going to be even more pretty in person. And I like that it's just a very neutral color. We just have like the basic gray background. We have the castle, Terracen, um, the flowers on the ground, very symbolic. The stag looking towards Terracen very symbolic um and i like how we have a little bit of the goldenness coming in like on the cover from the stag and the flowers on the ground but the overall like cover is gray and dark but i really love that one and again i think it's gonna be really pretty in person i think all of these will i hope they have a little bit of like maybe shine or reflection metallicness to them maybe to the letters i think that'd be really cool the paperback covers are pretty much the same like exactly the same they just have a little bit of different colors i think i prefer the hard covers better i like the colorfulness it makes the um imagery pop out more i feel like the other ones are very gray even though i am a very like gray person like i like the neutrals and the dark colors um so i definitely will be buying both i will need the hardcover and the paperback I, I'm just crazy like that. Apparently I have money like that as well because I'm gonna buy these. I don't even care. Um, I already have a set of the books, but I guess I need more. So the Assassin's Blade has like a little bit of the turquoise coming in, but it's mostly gray. And then the stack is purple. We have Throne of Glass with the pop of yellow, which is like way out there um i like that it has like little selena in there like she looks cool she has a little sword i love that crown of midnight gray and like muted purples you almost can't even tell that that's a river it looks more like a road like on this version of the cover um air of fire i almost don't know if i prefer this one or the hardcover i mean i'm saying this like it's like a comparison or a competition like no one cares but yeah, it's just a darker vibe. I don't know. This just doesn't feel like a Throne of Glass book to me though. This version of Air of Fire. I think it's the wording. It just looks like a suspense novel. That's what these covers remind me of. They just look like mystery books. And I'm like, are you trying to um, promote the book to a new audience? Like you want people to think it's a mystery? It's not really. But I mean, whatever to bring in a new audience, I guess. These definitely feel more adult to me, so I think that may be the ploy, the purpose of these new covers. I was fully expecting to have a announcement of new content, like if you buy the books, there's going to be a bonus story in each one, or there's going to be a bonus story in like the first book or something like that. I don't know, it's just what I was hoping for when I was reading Sarah J Mass's um, Instagram caption. Maybe if we pre-order these, you will get something like that. I just want new content. Like, she knows we want it, and she's not giving it to us. Okay, Queen of Shadows on the paperback cover looks really cool. Um, I like that it's just all gray. It looks so, like, gothic, almost. And then, in the distance, we have the red flare, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> Empire of Storms. I love Empire of Storms, and I feel like they could do a lot with the title, with the waves, and giving me this blue and, like, purple. It's just, like, it's very bland almost like it's pretty and cool but it's kind of bland i think it's the lettering i don't like the lettering tower of dawn um it almost looks similar just has like a little bit of orange it's literally they're all the exact same covers but i don't know it's again like it's not popping out anything kingdom of ash kind of just looks like the hardcover cover dust jacket um it just has different lettering and again i think this lettering makes me think of mystery novels and it's kind of weird to see but I can get over it. I don't think. Like, they did not keep the original Throne of Glass um, font at all, which is interesting to me. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't. I feel like it would have looked really cool even on the new hardcovers, but if you get a whole relook, a whole remodel, I guess that's what you gotta do. Try out new fonts. So it'll be interesting to see if these covers bring in a new generation or a new audience. I hope they do. I hope more adults will pick it up because I think these books... Whereas they are YA, I feel like they can read as a little bit more adult fantasy and they definitely have those epic fantastical elements. So I love it. 
<laughs> I'm just happy to have any Throne of Glass content. Uh, it doesn't take much to please me on the Throne of Glass front. Anything will suffice for me. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this video. Let me know down below what you think of these covers. Do you have a favorite? Do you prefer the hard covers or the paperbacks? Which one? Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to chat about it. Again, if you are here and you want to see more content from me, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to stick around for more videos. If you want to check out my social media, I will have them all linked down below. I have Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that. If you want to help support the channel, I have a Kofi where you can buy me a coffee. I have a Amazon wish list if you want to send me a book but that's all i have to say so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video hopefully soon bye three two one arguing again arguing about something so simple make it clear tell me why you're running back to him feeling insecure feeling like there's more to your character every tear that you cry is worth it in the